guys it's Tracy in Australia and uh, I have a small journal to share I've just finished this one and it is in fact small it measures four and a half by six and a half uh, it's quite shabby as you can see from the colors I've repurposed uh, a hardback uh, novel cover and painted it with this cream I did widen the spine it's actually two inches and I've used an embossing folder there to create a little bit of interest uh, I have one of those Tim Holtz holders there and I've made a dangle out of an old necklace that's removable added in some little bits of fiber up there uh, on the front and I'll just zoom in so that we can see that a little better I have this gorgeous image um, I chose it specifically for this novel and uh, for this novel <laughs> uh, I chose it specifically for this project because it was shabby it comes from a, an Etsy shop called French Paper Moon um, this is actually Beatrix Potter image but it has this beautiful framing around it with these flowers and and uh, I just really loved it when I saw it which is why I started off with um, this little book so I've used a little corner pieces metal corner pieces um, I thought that they just added a little bit of something they pick up this color here there's a little hitch post as, and some beautiful soft pink seam binding uh, to close it with so let's have a look inside uh, end papers are actually from calico collage there's a hidden spine made of craft text and I just um, like to run a bit of lace down that so uh, like a couple of my previous uh, journals lately I've used different sized papers and I'm really liking that so just a tiny little tuck spot there with some little bits and pieces in it the papers that I've used the rabbit papers for this um, journal are from another Etsy store and I will leave um, that the name of that in the description box but um, there are other bits and pieces because I have tried to use scraps. So this is actually a digital, I can't remember where that comes from. Um, and I've used little scrappy bits uh, on the sides. That reinforces it enough to put a little, um, an eyelet in. And then I use a, a garment pin and add some little bits of pieces to that. Everything has been very lightly tea dyed. I have also done some stenciling. There's again little bits of collaging up here, some stamping, little scrappy bits of paper and some muslin, stamping on the back and again some little pieces um, that I've collaged, a bit of a doily, a bit of paper and a little bit of a linen. This is actually some gorgeous vintage onion paper, so you can write on that. A couple of doilies, paper doilies. These are the papers that I've used and they're absolutely beautiful. So they have these gorgeous uh, rabbit and hare images and uh, this, the um, script around them is French and so I've picked that up um, in the ephemera that I've chosen. A little bit of washi tape just adds that little bit of colour. I've also used uh, these pages. These are some of my favourite digitals. I've had them for a couple of years. They come from a shop called Country at Heart and I just love how shabby they are and the beautiful roses. So I've uh, made a pocket which I've sewn on out of tracing paper and just decorated that with some scraps and a little pin with some pearls. Just for a little bit of colour, I've actually painted this and um, added in a little rose. This was actually a mistake. Um, I printed this out too big, so what I've done is fussy cut uh, the flowers and used as much of that as I could. One of the beautiful images, and I've torn around these and distressed them to um, make them look quite shabby. A little paper pocket with a little um, additional pocket that's made out of a lace piece. This is actually one of the pages and I've um, cut that down um, to make a tag. A little booklet. Um, this is actually a commercial Kaiser craft piece. It's the same um, page that that comes from. Just, it's nice to add in some sentiments and um, I liked the shabby color of these. So uh, part of a receipt and I've made a little pocket on the back remember the moments that's a Kaiser craft piece as well vintage stamp book paper and I've just added a little bit of washi so some stenciling stamping again one of the um, shabby torn rose pages 
tag that I've made from a commercial piece of paper. And this is a receipt that I've just folded in half for some extra writing space. I think I'll um, add a little stamp up there, but that's just scrappy paper. Here, I've used this page as a little pocket and then I reduced um, the pages even further, I think four by six, so that I could make uh, a little tag out of that. I haven't added anything to the strings, but I've left them long enough that I can. So little scrappy pocket there with another little Kaiser Craft sentiment. It says thankful. I love this one. Here, there's a little pocket and I've decorated that with some further lace and um, chiffon roses, a little bit of scrap paper up here. Again, another eyelet. And that has some little tags on it and it just folds in behind there. A little envelope that I've made. This was a tag that I created last year and I, um, I thought that that went really well with the colors and everything. So again, some vintage lace pieces and I've actually stapled those on there. This is one of my favorite images. I love lop-eared rabbits and this one looks gorgeous and is wearing a little crown. Very cute. One of the um, Country at Heart pages again. And again, I've um, cut down the um, journal page to make a tag and added in some little tickets, little pocket here. fabric pocket, added in one of the little roses and made, this is actually the image from the front and I've turned that into a little tag. As I said, I printed it out too big and um, I thought, why not use those bits? I don't like to have any waste. And it just helps to tie everything together, um, I think. And all, although it's eclectic, it does kind of have some pattern to it. It's the trouble with the um, tracing paper pockets, you can't always see where they are. So that's the end of that signature. And um, here's the next signature. And I just love this image. It's from um, an, an, a gorgeous shop. I, I think it's Shabalicious, but I will um, leave the uh, details in the description box but I I just love how that's a bunny wearing a flower crown because I love both those things and so I made a little tuck spot up the behind the bunny's ears. So here's another page that I've painted and I just added in the lace bits, stamped a little ticket, little pocket here, and the, um, the tag says, enjoy the little things. And of course, then there's a little uh, writing spot with a little bunny. Stapled some bits of laces to that one. Again, a little piece, a little scrap piece. And then I've just used a stamp. Here I've made a tag using a, um, my Kaiser Craft tab die, added in another scrap with some muslin underneath, some washi again, just adds that nice little pop of colour I think. And again you can see this rose, it's the same one from the front. Another little Kaiser Craft saying. A larger pocket with three tags in it and some lace just glued up the top there. Little pockets. This one's actually um, off an old um, top and beautiful lace. Love how it's a cream color. So again, one of the tags um, that I've made out of a page. 
And this was one that was in my stash. Again, the garment pin with bits and pieces on it. There's one of the little pearls. This is actually a Beatrix Potter one. I like the way the little envelope sits there and you can still see the image above it. So the little Kaiser Craft pieces, they were from a six by six pad. And this is a photo, it was actually an Easter one and um, I've torn around that and glued it to that page, which is really cute. This is a graphics fairy piece and I've just used um, paper clip to keep that there. Little lace pocket, one of the um, Country at Heart pages. Another little lace pocket and my favorite bunny. Okay, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. If you have any questions at all, um, just leave a comment in down below and I will get back to you. Have a safe and um, happy week and I will see you again soon.